Hello everyone. So, <clears throat> today is my last day in Hanoi. I am super bummed. Um, it's just such a beautiful place. It's such a huge city with amazing French influence. But I felt really at home here. It was, everything was really cheap. Um, I think the most expensive thing we paid was like eight dollars um, <clears throat> for drinks um, at the rooftop bar. But other than that, everything else was really cheap, really good. It was just nice walking through the city, honestly. And <clears throat> um, I'm kind of sad to leave. I wish we were here for more nights. I kind of wish my friends were here too. Um, my other friends, but they're not here because their visas didn't work. Um, so we had planned about a week in Vietnam and they had to completely skip that and go to Bangkok, um, Thailand. So, which is unfortunate, but we're going to meet them there. Y'all, real quick, bringing you back to the beginning, um, at the airport, there's a lot of people trying to, honestly, scam you into taking a private car. Honestly, use Grab. Use Grab, you're not going to have to start arguing with people about them telling you they were going to give you a private car when in reality there's like three other families with you and it just takes longer um and it's also really expensive they give different prices to different people um so honestly just to grab <laughs> i recommend that hanoi is um the international airport is really far from the city center like downtown area but honestly again it's not expensive to take a grab so it, it was like 20 us dollars um and me and my friend split it so not bad um the ride was welcome to really kind of just show us everything that there is in Hanoi. As you can see, there's just like so many lights, it's so pretty, um, you know, so it wasn't a bad ride. Um, yeah, and it was really cold. <laughs> the north is very cold, as I mentioned previously, um, so keep that in mind if you're traveling. We traveled in December, so cold. Um, but I love Vietnam, as I mentioned. I'm really sad that our friends couldn't join us. Um, and you'll see all the food we ate <laughs> in Vietnam um, and the amazing time that we had. We also stayed somewhere really amazing. And of course, like in previous videos, I'll share like links to everywhere we stayed and ate. Enjoy. Good morning, family. I just wanted to show you my little apartment. It's a two-story. Could take the elevators upstairs. Karen's bedroom, and then my bedroom. Look how nice it is. Excuse me, miss. I'm in Hanoi. Hey guys. So. We just found out our friends are not able to come because they didn't have visas, so they can't come to Vietnam at all. So it'll just be me and Karen traveling through Vietnam alone, which is fine. So tonight is our last night in um, Hanoi. Unfortunately, we only have two nights here, which is really sad. But what we're gonna do is eat our way through Vietnam in 24 hours. So we already had dinner, we technically had pho, but we had small bowls, and now we're going to eat uh, cha sa, which is a type of fish and like turmeric um, popular, we just chose a random spot, um, but it's pretty. Vietnamese people are very right into Christmas, apparently. Um, there's a couple of spots here actually that it was just like Christmas up. I want to find it, walk through it, it's really cute, I just don't know where it was. We'll find it. Um, <laughs> but tonight we're going to a sky bar. Um, we're between which one we want to go to still. And then hopefully also hit up Beer Street, um, seeing as it's our last night. I'm gonna go home and do a couple of like things for work, but other than that, it should be a okay. Um, besides that, yeah, don't really have much else to say. But I'll let you know how food is.
Good morning, Vietnam. So, I am walking in the streets, heading to the Boon Cha place. This is the one where Anthony Bourdain and Obama ate. It's very typical tourist person. But what can I say? I was a huge fan of Bourdain. I have to go. I have to. Um, my friend is still at the apartment. I ended up leaving her behind because I don't want to wait. <laughs> I could feel the travel bug here. There is something about this city, maybe this country, in which I'm just, my travel bug is just like activated and then just like, let's go. Um, the city is beautiful. I've already had to cross the street a few times and honestly, it's not that much different from Mexico. <laughs> so for me, crossing the street is not really a big deal. Um, it's just busy. So I don't know, take that as you may. I feel like I'm gonna lose myself because I don't know where I'm going next. So let me hold on. just had Boon Cha from the Obama place. Um, I didn't get to record inside. It was really hectic and busy and there was like a family of 15 apparently um, traveling together from Malaysia. And it was just a lot. You have to just sit your ass down in any empty chair, call someone over, get their attention, order the stuff that you want. They bring it to you within like five minutes and then they give you the check before they even give you the food. So at the end you pay, I got the boon cha, the seafood egg roll that's fried, and a Pepsi. And that came out to 100 dong, which is about five US dollars. So pretty cheap, pretty good, highly recommend. And now we're going to get some egg coffee. Hey guys, so I have to record my phone because my battery died. Um, but we just got to Cafe Yang, which is like where the egg coffee originated. And it had to do with like cold milk and they couldn't afford milk when French colonized, etc. etc. So, this is it. Karen got one too. She skipped breakfast. Um, and we're gonna down our coffee, get some energy, get by me, go back to the room, chill for a bit, I gotta work. Um, and yeah, that'll be our, our little adventure for today, or at least this morning. Hey guys, so we are walking to the Bonnie place and we just happen to be crossing through the Beer Street. It's daytime, of course, so it's pretty dead, but I wanted to just show it during the day. There's Karen. She is sweating buckets. It's actually really cold. So I don't really know what she's talking about, but...
so we're just leaving the last bar we were at. It was a gay bar. A little boring for my taste, but at least it was gay. Um, and I wanted to just record on this very picturesque alley. A little dark. Um, it's just so cute here. I really enjoy it. I'm a little sad to be leaving. I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to come. And yeah. We're not too far from the apartment, I think. I don't have phone service. One thing about Hanoi is you don't always have phone service. I don't really know what it is here. Um, a little wild, but it's fine. I, um, I think I'm almost there, but I pretty much for the most part remembered my location. So that's pretty good. Um, no. I missed that. Hey guys, so we decided to come back to Boon Cha since Karen didn't have it because she got lost. You left And um, she got lost. And um, <clears throat> so I kind of wanted to show you the restaurant. It's a lot less busy today. I feel a bit more comfortable recording. Um, <clears throat> so this is what the restaurant looks like. Ignore Karen. And you just enter, you just sit down. And they come over, the menus are on the walls, but they also give you menus in your hands. <clears throat> and they already have like the, the Obama combo, you know? It comes with a special boon cha, the fried seafood roll, and the beer. Um, I don't want to drink beer at this time. It's like 9 a.m. <laughs> and we're having boon cha as it is. So we got the same thing, but I just got to get something to drink. And then I also got um, some other side for Gamba. But anyways, they bring you the boon cha, they bring you whatever else you order, and then on the table always, they have garlic and chili, um, vermicelli noodles, different herbs like lettuce, watercress, and mint, I think. And they have chilies and garlic over there and vinegar. And it's really good. I highly recommend. I really want to try a different boon cha place, but again, since Karen didn't try it. And I also want to try boon ho, which is like, same, but it's like this beef with like beef intestine blood stuff. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, yeah, so I will record us eating it in a second. Okay, y'all, so this is pretty much the last couple things I did was the lake and note coffee shop. Um, I left a very funny <laughs> note at the end. Um, but I left some really heartfelt ones. I feel like this is a great way to end the Note Coffee Shop. You know, just really hopefully wrote a couple notes to really inspire people. And honestly, that's kind of the takeaway of my videos. Um, just to kind of just, you know, make traveling not as scary. Um, and that you could do it on a budget like we did. And we stayed in some amazing places. And overall, it's just... A different geographical area um, who live their lives almost exactly like we do so you know go out there and see the world <laughs> um, and I will be uploading my Hoi An video um, which I also loved um, but stay tuned <laughs>